Bye, I will share to you guys all those tips and strategies na ginawa ko para ma-improve ang aking YouTube channel. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Donita, your Pinay teacher in Norway. And in this video, I will share to you my tips and strategies and all those things na ginawa ko bilang isang new YouTuber. So this video is requested from some of my kababayans here in Norway that are starting their YouTube channel. So shout out kay Ate Jolly and kay Ate Jet Absuelo Alvarez. So they are some of my friends here in Norway. And sila po yung inspiration ko sa paggawa ng video na ito because just like them, I also start from scratch. So yung umpisa ng aking YouTube channel is talaga namang ano, talaga namang nagsimula sa zero subscribers. And then, ano, until now naman, I am improving myself na maayos ang aking YouTube channel and that's why I will share to you guys all those tips and strategies na ginawa ko para ma-improve ang aking YouTube channel. So, the first thing that you will do is ask yourself why? Why I want to be a YouTuber? Why I want to be a content creator? What is the purpose or your goal? Or who will be your audience? So, that is the first thing na kailangan nyo gawin. Because for me, I started purely to share my experiences and ideas and uh, all the things that I do coping up living here in Norway. So, iyon. Iyon yung kailangan nyo gawin. Alamin nyo sa sarili nyo bakit. And then, of course, you must improve your channel. So, in order to improve your channel, you must, of course, create a channel art, a very catchy thumbnail. Also, you must write the things about you, about your channel. And, of course, you must do an introduction video. So, if you want to have an example, just go to my YouTube channel and you will see my introduction video. And then, after improving your own channel, you must also choose a unique content that reflects the persona you want to portray in your YouTube in your YouTube channel. So there are lots maraming maraming content na pwede, pwede kayong gawin, lifestyle, travel, beauty if you if you want to gusto niyo mag-make up, ayan marami. Maraming mga content na pwede. Dapat mag-focus lang kayo sa isang content or niche Alam ko mahirap gawin yun kahit ako until now. I am trying to I am trying to focus on one niche or content of my vlogs. So ayun na nga nasabi ko na sa inyo kung paano niyo i-improve ang inyong channel. Pero i-share ko rin sa inyo what are the applications or apps na ginamit ko. Ayan, ipapakita ko siya sa screen. And iyan yung mga pwede nyong gamitin na app. Iba is free, yung iba naman is may bayad. Pero pwede naman yung 7-day trial. So kung gusto nyo lang, itry nyo lang. Kung magugustuhan nyo yung pinakang app, ayan, pwede nyo siyang gamitin. Iyan yung mga suggested apps na gusto kong itry nyo. Ayan yung mga ginamit ko. Kung papaano i-edit yung video ko. Kung papaano ko ginawa yung channel art ko. Yung thumbnails ko. Lahat nandyan. Then all you have to do is be creative. And nasa sayo na yan kung papaano mo lalagyan ng design. Lalagyan your own personal touch ang inyong YouTube channel. And then kung nahirapan kayo kung paano yung gamitin yung mga apps na yan. Just explore. Pindutin nyo na lang ng pindutin at malalaman nyo, oh, paano pala maggawa ng ganong font, paano pala yung ganyan. Just explore. Matututunan nyo din yan kung paano. And also, kapag, uh, ayun na, kaisip na kayo ng content, na kaisip na kayo ng thumbnails nyo, mas maganda rin na mag-create na mag-create kayo ng worthy video. Yung video na yung content niya talaga is worthy na panoorin. Huwag naman yung kung ano-ano lang na trip mo lang, mag-vlog, ganyan. Yung something na may matututunan ng iba, may, may matutulungan kang iba, may may inspire kang iba. And also, yung Kapag gagawa kayo ng video, isipin nyo rin yung inyong music kasi dapat ang music nyo is no copyright. Kasi kapag kayo is naging monetized channel na, mahihirapan kayong makagain ng kita 
sa YouTube. Kung yung mga musics nyo, kung yung mga music nyo is copyright. And also, ako, para sa akin lang, hindi ako gumagamit ng mga copyright videos. I-search nyo rin, no copyrighted music, marami yan. Marami kayong pagpipilian dyan. Ganun lang yung ginagawa ko. And another thing, Uh, for me, uh, it is not advisable na gumamit kayo ng, ng mga TikTok videos tapos i-upload nyo, i-upload nyo sa YouTube kasi yun nga, yung music niya, copyright yan and short videos yan and short videos lang yan. Kung gusto nyo talagang ma-monetize kayo, gumawa kayo ng mga videos na mahaba at least 8 minutes pataas na pwede nyo rin lagyan ng mga advertisements sa gitna. So... Another thing is, of course, you must set your goal. Ano ba yung goal mo sa iyong YouTube channel? Dapat every day you you try to create something, you try to improve something on your YouTube channel. Don't stop. And uh, always remember, if you want to be a monetized channel, you must, of course, follow the policy of YouTube. Marami yan dyan, makikita nyo yan dyan. And you need to have 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers for you to be a monetized channel. And if you will apply for monetization, you must also see if wala kayong mga nilabag na batas ni YouTube. Yung mga policy niya, Pwede naman yung copyright music, hindi naman siya masyadong mahigpit doon. Pero yung paggamit ng used content or used video, tapos i-upload nyo sa inyong YouTube channel. It's a no-no sa policy ni YouTube. And another thing, yung 1,000 subscribers is sa totoo lang, madali naman siyang makuha para ma-monetize ka. Pero yung 4,000 watch hours, talaga yung mahirap ma-achieve. Kaya yung iba nagla-livestream. So, kapag nagla-livestream sila, maraming nanonood sa kanila. And then, tumataas yung watch hours nila. You must also take note all those terminologies na dapat nyong gamitin. Yung bananas, yung padikit, ayan. Yung mga, yung mga bagong YouTuber, hindi nila alam yan. That's why, sineshare ko sa inyo. And pwede rin kayong mag-silent uh, livestreaming makakatulong din yun sa inyo. You will just play music. Marami namang techniques, guys. And kung marami pa kayong gustong malaman, guys, on how to improve your YouTube channel, just visit Miss Janice B and Mom and Grata de Ortiz and Mom and Daughter. Marami kayong matututunan sa kanila, guys. Maraming YouTuber na nag-share din ng mga tips and strategies na matututunan nyo. And also, kapag gusto mo talagang malaman ng isang bagay, pwede nyo namang isearch Andiyan ang Google, you must find your ways for you to achieve your goal and to be a successful YouTuber. So just do all your best and never give up and believe in yourself. Kasi kung hindi ka naman maniniwala sa sarili mo, sino pa maniniwala sa'yo, ba? Diba? And I hope na may natutunan kayo sa aking video for today. And if you like this video, please consider to thumbs up. And if you know someone who really needs to see this video, feel free to share. And if you want to know more about me, my ideas, experiences, and life here in Norway, just click the notification down below for you to be updated when I have new uploads. Thank you so much for watching and God bless you all. Bye!